Hello friends, my today's video is on once again on interview questions on 7 QC tools. I already made two videos on this, two videos I have made in the so, in this series, this is the video hai, more and more questions on QC tools. Yeah? So, okay, let's start. Pehla, what is the difference between defect and defective? Defect, defective. Okay. Engineers are confused. Ho jate hai. Defect or defective. Mein. Dekhi, I will simplify it. Defect is hai? Close equivalent of this is Bemari. Defective Bemar. Right? Ek Bemar ko, ek se zyada Bemariyan ho sakti hain. Similarly, a defective part can have multiple defects. Right? A defective part can have more than one defect. Two, three, four, even five. Huh? Depends on the product. Now, defect. Precisely speaking, what is a defect? Failure to meet any one of the acceptance criteria. The acceptance criteria laid out by the customer. You are not meeting anyone. Anyone, any one of them. It's so defect. Defective. A unit, a component. Yeah? An assembly that has one or more defect. Yeah? Bimar, bimari. Clear? It's not very difficult. Right? Okay. Now, another question is normally asked in interviews can you differentiate between can you differentiate between inspection quality control and quality assurance kyunki kya hota hai choti companies mein department hota hai inspection and quality control loosely speaking usko inspection bol dete thodi badi company hogi quality control department so, और बड़ी होगी क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस डिपार्टमेंट प्रिसाइजली इन तीनों में डिफरेंस क्या है अगर इंटरव्यूअर हमसे पूछे तो क्या जवाब देंगे लुक एट दिस स्लाइड या ओके लुक एट दिस टेबल व्हाट इज इंस्पेक्शन सेपरेशन ऑफ गुड फ्रॉम द बैड इंस्पेक्शन सेपरेट्स गुड फ्रॉम बैड दोनों को अलग-अलग करता है, okay, it could be visually, it could be your gauges and tools, yeah, and normally, inspection activity is carried out by inspectors who are junior level officials in the quality hierarchy. Hmm? So inspection का scope थोड़ा low level का है. Now, confusion prevails between quality control and quality assurance. Now, what is QC? Quality control. It's a set of activities. Yeah, look at this slide once again. Set of activities for ensuring quality in products. Okay. How? The activities focus on identifying defects in the actual products made. Okay. Actual products made. Products have been made. Now, we are trying to find out the defect. So, it's a reactive approach. Mal ban gaya hai. Ab usme hum defect dhundne ki koshish kar rahe hai. So what is QA? By definition, QA is a set of activities for ensuring quality in the process by which products are to be developed. Hum is prakar ka plan banayenge. System procedure aise honge jisse quality products se hi banenge. Planning. Their execution, their quality assurance. Yeah? Goal. QC ka kya goal hai? Yeah? Goal of QC is to identify defects after a product is made and before it is sent to the customer. QA ka kya goal hai? Goal of QC is to improve development and test processes so that defects do not arise at all. Defect paida hi na ho. Yeah? When the product is being made, Pele dollar, but then been manufactured. Okay, QC focuses on what? QCC focuses on quality control. Focuses on hmm, identifying and correcting defects in the products. Hmm. Therefore, once again, I'll say reactive approach. QA quality assurance 
it aims to prevent defects with a focus on the process used to make the product is a proactive approach hmm? proactive quality process how how do we do it kaise karenge okay qc quality control wo kaise karta hai finding and eliminating sources of quality problem through tools and equipment like 7qc tools root cause analysis tools etc yeah and so that the customers requirement are completely met quality requirements are met to qa kya karta hai establish a good quality management system and the assessment of its adequacy qa focuses on process qc focuses on the component yeah okay periodic conformance audits audit audits are is for a process inspection is for a product yeah remember that there's a difference between audit and inspection yeah okay periodic conformance audits and operations of the systems and procedures that's quality assurance so in short quality assurance is more towards planning and audit hmm? quality control is towards application of quality control tools but but after the defect has been generated reactive approach yeah qa is proactive approach remember that Yeah, I hope it's clear. Still, you can refer to the table again and again. Yeah, okay. Next interview question, which is asked: What is the difference between what is the difference between run chart and line graph? It's a logical question. Essentially speaking, both are line graphs. The difference? What? Look. run chart will have only and only one line that's it while a line graph can have multiple lines it can have 1 2 3 4 5 yeah i don't recommend that if it's more than 5 yeah because after that you know the colors start confusing you कलर्स का डिफरेंस बहुत कम हो जाता है सो नॉर्मली बियॉन्ड फाइव आई डोंट रिकमेंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लाइन चार्ट बट दस बिग डिफरेंस बिटवीन रन चार्ट बिकॉज रन चार्ट कैन हैंडल ओनली वन वेरिएबल नॉट मोर देन दैट लाइन ग्राफ वी कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर टू थ्री फोर फाइव इवन फॉर वन ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम सो लाइन ग्राफ कैन हैव मल्टीपल लाइन बट ए रन चार्ट will have only and only one line essentially yeah okay purpose dono ka alag hai run chart mein hum process ki stability dekhte hain line graph is for all together different purposes yeah okay fair how do you say when the process is under control next interview question What do you mean by a process under control? What's the answer? What's the answer? When the process operates under common causes only, then we say it is under control. What are the indicators? Okay. First, when we plot the control chart, no sample point, no subgroup point lies outside the limits. That's one. Second, most points are near the process mean. third about equal number of points above the mean line and almost equal number below the mean that means process should run along mean only mean ke upar niche hi chale and point should be randomly distributed there should not be a pattern a pattern will indicate increasing pattern or decreasing pattern will indicate a shift in the process okay right now another question one more question which is normally asked yeah what is the difference between common causes and special causes look at the table common causes special causes what are common causes my friends common causes are part of the process you cannot eliminate them 
Special causes are abnormal working conditions. They can be eliminated through monitoring, yeah? careful monitoring. But common causes you cannot eliminate. You cannot make them zero. Examples of common causes first. Normal tool wear. You put up a new drill. Put up a new reamer. Yeah. After every cutting, size goes down and you cannot do anything. You have to live with it. A drill has to produce 300 numbers. It has to produce. With each drilling, the size goes down. You can't do anything. So that's a variation due to common causes. Here, working play between the slides. When the machine was being made, the machine maker deliberately intentionally gave some working play so that the slide could move smoothly. So that lubricant can enter. Thanks to this play, sometime the slide will go a little this side or little this side. I'm exaggerating, but in a few microns, it moves here and there by a few microns. And Thanks to that, variation in the process comes and you have to live with it. If you want to reduce it, go for a very precision machine. But will the customer pay? That's a question mark. Okay, minor variation in the same batch of raw material. You got 20 tons of raw material. Yeah. And within the batch, the supplier certified. He's given you this metal certificate. But you may find there's a minor variation in the same batch. You have to live with it. Metal still within the range. Yeah. Okay, variation in oil pressure of the machine. Chips were coming, they are falling down on what? Oil filter. Filter got clogged, oil pressure dropped. So, supply of the lubricant reduced. That oil film thickness reduced. Fine. It will play with the accuracy. Then, gradual depletion and refilling of, of coolant. It may give an impact of few microns in the process. Okay, Because in the morning, you fill up the tank, slowly start depleting, then at the start of base shift, you fill it once again. This behavior, yeah, when the tank was too low, it will have an impact on the accuracy. Hmm? Because pump was not able to pump in sufficient uh, coolant. Yeah? Okay. Now, what are the special causes? 11 abnormal working condition. First, difference in the measuring accuracy of instrument. Instrument to instrument variation is part of MSA. We acknowledge it happens. Difference in the method of people. A guy A will be handling measuring instrument like this, very hard. The other guy will be holding it very softly. His method is different. Yeah. Okay. Induction of untrained manpower. We got some casuals. Okay. Employee fatigue. We ask the same person to stay back in patient. Significant change in the environment. Okay. Suddenly the temperature dropped. Huh? Difference among machine. Machine to machine variation. Difference among materials. Batch to batch variation. Huh? Power failure. Tool breakage. Mishandling of product, trolley pallet guy. Yeah? Change in the maintenance procedure, some big change. All these are 11 abnormal working conditions. Well, this can be identified. Corrective action can't be taken. Yeah? Fine? So, my friends, I hope these interview questions are going to help you. So, learn the tools, learn the tools more seriously. Be a very good quality engineer. Yeah, God bless you.